This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, thank you very much. Um, the learning today should be Le'iloi Nishmasam as well as uh, sponsored by Rabbi Salo Rose. Le'iloi Nishmas is Rabbi Tzvi Ben Levi Yitzchak Nisham Shavan Aliyah. Okay, we're, uh, uh, because of the legal holiday schedule, we're going to um, have this share today. We're going to learn something incredible on the Parsha. The Pasuk uh, opens up, Vayichi Yaakov Eretz Mitzrayim Shva Asrei Shana. Yaakov lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. Vayichi Yimei Yaakov Shnei Chayav. And it was the days of Yaakov, the years of his life. Sheva Shana Ma'arbem Ma'ashana. Seven years and 140 years. So the Pasuk opens up, Yaakov lived in Egypt 17 years. And it was the days of the life of Yaakov, 147 years. And then, Vayikrivu Yimei Yisrael Lamos. And the days of Israel approached to die. So when it talks about the life of this individual, it refers to him as Yaakov. When it talks about the death of this individual, it refers to him as Yisrael. It's Vayichi Yaakov Eretz Mitzrayim. Vayichi Yimei Yaakov Shnei Chayav. Vayikrivu Yimei Yisrael Lamos. Furthermore, at the end of Vayigash, Vayoymer Yaakov El Paroi. Yimei Shnei Megurai Shloishum Ashana. The days of the years of my sojourning, 130 years. Ma'ad v'ro'im ho'yu yimei shnei chayai. Small, few and evil, and difficult were the days of the years of my life, and I did not achieve the days of the life of the, of the lifetime of my forefathers in their days of sojourning. Now this requires uh, analysis, what exactly does Yaakov Avinu mean? Yaakov Avinu lived 17 years in Egypt. Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar writes to his Hakdama, to Vayichi, that we find by Yosef, he supported his father 17 years. And that's Mida Kenegin Mida. B'schutz tzedakah that Yaakov Avinu supported him for 17 years. Yaakov Avinu supported his children. He supported Yosef for 70 years. Sharei kishapirish Yosef meyaviv ben shva esrei shana haya. Shenamar ila todus Yaakov Yosef ben shva esrei shana. Uvizchus shapirnes Yaakov es Yosef shva esrei shana. Matzino shapirnes Yosef li Yaakov. B'Mitzrayim shva esrei shana. Mida kenegin mida. B'zeu shakasav ayichi Yaakov v'eretz Mitzrayim shva esrei shana. That God rewarded Yaakov Mida Kenegin Mida. He supported Yosef for 17 years until he was 17 years old, and therefore Yosef supported him. Now, one would not, would not uh, typically think this way. Would one think that uh, they would be rewarded or some kind of merit or zechus to support and sustain their children? However, what we learn is that it is a great zechus to support and to feed anybody. And just because they're your child, that doesn't make it less of a mitzvah of tzedakah or less of a mitzvah of chesed. And certainly Yaakov Avinu, when he supported Yosef HaTzadik, even though he was his son, nevertheless, um, he did so as a great mitzvah and as a chesed and as a way to emulate HaKadosh Baruch Hu, And he was rewarded in kind. Says the Da'asakinim, Lama hizkir akasuf sachayev bi'eretz Mitzrayim. Why does the Torah tally up the years that Yaakov spent in Egypt? L'fishu matzinu she Yosef haya im aviv kaid mechiras yud zayin shana. We find that Yosef was with his father 17 years. O'chashem she pirnes Yaakov liyaz yud zayin shana. Kach Yosef pirnes of echol kolo yud zayin shana. Kenegdan. The same idea that Ravina Nebuchadnezzar writes, that just like Yaakov supported Yosef for 17 years, Yosef supported him and sustained him for 17 years. This is what it means. Ela todos Yaakov Yosef ben Shvaz Okay. Says the Balaturim. The same idea. Keneged the 17 years that he raised and groomed Yosef, Yosef supported him for 17 years. <clears throat> Now, the Archaim HaKadosh says, because Yaakov sustained and supported Yosef 17 years, like it says, Ben Shiva Esrei Shana, therefore, he was paid back and was influenced to, to Yaakov in the Midah of Kefel, many, many Midahs Yud Zayin Shana. What does this mean? 
Vayichi Yaakov Be'eretz Mitzrayim, Shvasrei Shana. This way was paid back the days that he supported Yosef, who ha-mefarnei s'chol ha-aretz, u-vezeva hi yimei Yaakov. Now it's interesting. V'zula se'e efshe shayu shleimim yamav k'aydum l'chein. It could be, had Yaakov not supported Yosef, Yaakov's life would have ended at 130 years. Elo l'shalim Yosef toivas chesed shekibel mimenu. But to allow Yosef to pay back the chesed that he received, that is why two is better than one. Each one, echad of course is uh, 13, mispar toiv, which is gematria. Seventeen shnayim v'kigo v'kiven l'sham zelaze v'timsa she'amruzal ki yosef hu bechinas vav miloy vav ki yadu al yode nistarais l'sham alikeno. So the Archaim Hakadosh is saying that Yosef Hatzadik is on the madrega of vav. Why is it toivim hashnayim mino echad? Each one contributes the number toiv, which is somehow 17, and they pay back one to another. In other words, it's very interesting. Toivim hashnayim in echad. You ever hear that expression? It's in uh, Koyhelas. Two are better than one. Here's a perfect example. Because Yaakov supported Yosef 17 years, one toiv, Yosef was given the ability to support his father another 17 years, and Yaakov actually lived an extra 17 years so that Yosef should pay him back. And in this sense, Yosef is on the madrega of Vav Miloy, which is a Kabbalistic terminology. Bottom line is there's some significance to the fact that in the merit that Yaakov supported Yosef for 17 years, Yosef was given the ability to pay back. Says about the Torah, "May Chiyakov be'er Samson Shas Seishana, Shahari Shoyim Loi Hayu Chayim, Shahari Amar Ki Eved Al Bni Avel Shaila." These years Yaakov really lived because before that Yaakov Vino said, "I will die um, in mourning for not seeing my beloved son Yosef." Now the Chizkuni says, "By Chiyakov be'er Samson Shar Shenoi Sav Chayim Loi Hayu Chayim." The rest of his life wasn't a life. Because he was Bitsar. And when he came to Egypt, Nachas Ruchai Vechaya Benachas. In other words, Nacha Ruchai. He was assaged, he was calmed, and he lived peacefully. 17 years in Mitzrayim, this Pasuk is written to praise Yosef, who supported his family for 17 years. Um, because Yosef was 17 years when he saw the same kind of uh, idea. By the way, Rabbeinu Bechayi therefore says, look at this, by, in Parshas Chayi Sarah, Rabbeinu Bechayi says another amazing thing. When he separated from Yosef, seven, Yosef was 17 when Yaakov, when he was forced to separate from Yaakov. 17 years Yaakov lived in Mitzrayim, a total of 34. That's the gematria of Vayechi. The real life of Yaakov were the 17 years that he spent together with his son Yosef when Yosef was a child, and the 17 years in Mitzrayim when Yosef su- supported him. One was a reward for the other. This was the real life of Yaakov Avinu. This is when he had, you know, real nachas ruach and sort of satisfaction. And furthermore, it's the gematria of Ayechi, Ayechi equals 34. Now, comes the Archaim HaKadosh. And the Archaim HaKadosh says something in absolutely astounding. He says, First of all, why do I need to know how long he lived in Egypt? And it should just say, Yaakov lived 147 years, and I would know that he was in Mitzrayim 17 years, because in Vayigash, when he stood before Paroi, he told Paroi he was 130. So obviously, he spent 130 years uh, in Mitzrayim, before he got to Egypt, and 17 years in Mitzrayim. So says Archaim HaKadosh, it could be, 
since all the days of Yaakov, he had no respite, and he did not; he was not tranquil, tranquil, because when he was born, his antithesis was born, namely Esav. Vadain loy shaka shimshai. Amad Lavan and even before uh, Esav disappeared and and waned, Lavan arose. Ve'ela Moisif Loraloi and th- these continued to do even more bad to him. Ve'achrav hukam al tsara shel dina and then he had the tsar of dina. Ve'oid ve'yavei royus avedas Yosef who sh'amar akasa ve'ichi yagre as an shazajan eloy chayv loy kaidem. Now he lived. Before it wasn't a life. Nishken Leben. The Smachlas the Omer of Ahi Yemei Yaakov. Shnei Chai of Lermosh. Shehein Heina Hayu Yamav. And the Smach. Shehein Vehaver are considered a living. He spent fourteen years there. He spent fourteen years in a bunker, you know, because uh, he waiting for Esav to ambush him. He was scared of Esav. Okay. Right. Vahu Amroi Vehiim. Positive years in his life history. Yeah. Also, by the way, I mean, I mean, he also supported all of the other banim, right? So why is it he has the achrayis? Yosef has the achrayis to pay back. The other sons don't have achrayis to pay back. Why it's just Yosef? They they perhaps all had responsibility, but he he was rewarded. In other words. It seems like Yaakov was rewarded for... You mean Yaakov supported all of his children? Yes, yes. So... Supporting Yosef, apparently the way he support, He gave him the extra ava, he gave him the ksenes pasim, he gave him the full royal fatherly treatment, and that's what was paid back to him. These were the days he had real life. Vayhi Yemei Yaakov. Those 17 years, those were his life. That's when he had Chayim. Ve, let's see if we could make out. Vinim Shechas Yemei Yaakov Ema Shalamatu Bimenu. This is a continuation of what's below. Yemei Yaakov Sheva. Oid Yirtzadech Amram. Anyone who, the end of his life, is good, it's as if his whole life was good. This is what it means. There's a concept that even if you start off small, the end will be very great. We also say in Kohelas, So therefore it says, Yaakov lived a life of tranquility in the land of Mitzrayim. The fact that Yaakov ended off his life with 17 good years, that made it that the rest of his life were, were, were years of life, even the di- years of difficulty. Meaning, oh, and now, this infused sort of happiness, and after the fact that the end was a happy ending, it made it his whole life was, uh, was elevated and redeemable. Okay, but let us um, investigate this even more. In Parshas Miketz, Yaakov says to the kids, Oisi shi kaltem, you have caused me to become bereft. Yosef einenu, v'shimoin einenu, v'yaz ben yamin tikachu, olai hayu kolana. Yaakov said to, to them, I'm bereft. But when Yaakov heard the good news that Yosef, in fact, was still alive, his heart skipped a beat. They said all the words to Yaakov that Yosef had spoken to them. He saw the wagons. And Yaakov came to life. Let's see. Oh. Chazal tell us that Yaakov Avinu enjoyed something that nobody else ever experienced. Namely, there's a concept, Yaakov Avinu Loimes. 
The Gemara in Tainus and Daf Hamid Beis says Rav Nachman and Rav Yitzchak were at a Suda. So Rav Nachman says to Rav Yitzchak, "Nu, Rav Yitzchak, Zog Iber, say over something really nice that you heard from Rav Yochanan." He said, "Rav Yochanan says as, as follows: You're not allowed to talk at a meal. Bug off." That's what you want to hear something from Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan says you chew when you eat. You don't talk while you eat. Shemayaktim kana leveshet. The windpipe might come before the food pipe. V'yavo li sakana. After the Suda, he said, Ahachiyama Rabbi Yochanan. This is what Rabbi Yochanan says. Yaakov Avinu Lomis. Yaakov Avinu didn't die. So, Rav Nachman said, really? He didn't die? So the eulogizers eulogized for naught, and the embalmers embalmed for naught, and the burials buried for naught. So, Rav Yitzchak said, what are you talking about? I'm Doire Shapasuk. It says, and you, do not be afraid, my servant Yaakov, says the Lord. Do not be afraid, because I will save you from far, and your children from the land of their captivity. So it compares Yaakov to his descendants. Just like his descendants are alive, so too he is alive. Well, the Al Shech HaKadosh teaches us a phenomenal teaching regarding this concept and idea that Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis. What does that mean? Yaakov never died. To understand this subject, let us analyze the language of the Pasuk, Ki haloyi pole. It is a wonder, Ki kol amokim asher yazker hamisal Yaakov, that any place that it mentions death for Yaakov, b'shem Yisrael yechaneu, he's always called Yisrael. Any time the Torah mentions any concept of death about the third forefather, it always calls him Yisrael. Whenever it talks about expiration and being gathered in without mention of death, He's called Yaakov. For because it says, Vayomer Yisrael, Yisrael said, Now I will die. Yisrael says, Now I will die. Vayomer Yisrael, Hine Anoichi Meis. Yisrael says to Yosef, I'm going to die. The days of Israel were approached to crying. But by Yaakov it doesn't say death. It just says Gaviyah. Yaakov concluded to command his children. He expired and he was gathered in. Because of this question, says the Al Shech, I saw a man who is strong and wise in intellect Someone to suggest that the name Yaakov is a greater name than Yisrael. And therefore we find Misa by Yisrael and we don't find Misa by Yaakov. Somebody wanted to suggest that the name Yaakov is a greater name than Yisrael, is a higher Madrega, but says the Al Shech, we just visited him last January. This is a very strange comment, and there's no question this should be sort of pushed away. However, as I have considered to try to explain this phenomenon, that why when it talks about the death of Yaakov, is it called Yisrael? When it talks about his expiration and get, being gathered in, he's called Yaakov Nafaychu. It's pinked fakert. Ki kasher nikro shema Yisrael, when he's called Israel, Yisrael is a higher madrega, a higher level of soul, that it was added to his ruach and his neshama, an advantage of Precious light, elevated light, very, very much, more than he had before. It says, Al-Shaykh, my opinion, the name Yisrael added great divine splendor to the soul of Yaakov Inu. What is Misa? The departing of the soul from the body. Ah, uh, so I say like this, says the al The Madriga of Yaakov is here. The Madriga of Yisrael is here. Yisrael is a higher level. Death is the departing of the soul. The higher madriga of Yisrael is that which left. 
Vinei Yadu Aki Gadar Misu Sil Kanav Shnei Yaakov Oimer Ki Nei Agadar Gadar Shem Tazal Nav Shruchim Rishon Shkuzon Shkuzon Yisrael Hu Hashem Nesag Mena Ba'etzem Says the Al Sheikh My opinion What departed from this holy patriarch is the Madrig of Yisrael the Akein Yitzdak by Lashem Misa Therefore Misa is Shaykh by Yisrael Ki Abachina Im Misa Bin Estalkem Yaakov Lagamri The Madrig of Yisrael ceased and was removed completely. Therefore, whenever it mentions death, B'Shem Yisrael Yechune. He's called Yisrael, Af Bechinas Yaakov. But the Madrig of Yaakov, which is the Madrig that he had from the beginning, it did not, it was not removed. It expired. Kenesha Nesalef, like someone who faints. Someone who faints. So why are we called B'nai Yisrael? Someone who faints is still... Fully operable, operating. He's uh, respiring. He's digesting. He's, his brain uh, is functioning. All, all uh, phenomena of the body are fully operational. It's just that he's asleep. Therefore, by Yaakov, it just says, Vayigva Vayyosef. Not like it says by Yitzchak. By Yitzchak it says by Yigva Vayamas. Therefore, Chazal are correct. They don't say Yisrael Loi Meis. Yisrael Meis. But Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis. Why? Shehu al Bechinas Yaakov Beis Shahaya Avinu. That is the Bechina of Yaakov when he was our forefather. Bahilida Yasbanav. Interestingly, why do we say Yaakov Avinu Lameis? Why do we say Yaakov Lameis? The answer is because he was Yaakov when he became Avinu. He bore the Jewish people before he was given the name Yisrael. He was only the he was only Yisrael to one child. Who's that? He was only Yisrael to Binyamin. Right? So, um, Joe wants to know why are we called B'nai Yisrael? Why not B'nai Yaakov? It might be because we are considered his spiritual heirs, not only as uh, Yaakov, but even on his higher madriga as Yisrael. But we say Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis, that's the Bechina of Yaakov, when he was Avinu, when he gave birth to his sons, before he was called Yisrael. And all of that Kayach remains Shakua Bivsaray. It's in him. Now, the Shlach Kadesh writes, So this is... What about in Morris and Machpila? Isn't it listed as Kever Yaakov? If Yaakov Lomais, it should have said Kever Yisrael. He's there. He's buried. He's there. But he's uh, Lomais. So this is the Pshad of the Alshech, that the Madrega of Yisrael is a higher Madrega. That Madrega left completely, and the Madrega of Yaakov Loimei. Says the Holy Shla, let me tell you the tradition I have, and that which Chazal say on Daf Heom, Beis Yaakov Inu Loimeis, that Kipshutai, that even though he was embalmed, how do we explain this? So, you know, he has two names, Yaakov and Yisrael. When someone has two names, Two names reflect different dimensions. Uh, many names reflect and represent various abilities and magic of the soul. Now watch this. When Yaakov Avinu mourned Yosef his son, Mikayach Tsara, out of the pain, Yotza Nefesh Yaakov Vechelek Zemes. Now we're going to learn why Yaakov Avinu Lemes. Because when Yaakov heard about what happened to Yosef, he was in such pain. The soul of Yaakov left, and this Chelek died. And all he's left with is Yisrael. Meaning, when, Yosef, when he heard the news about Yosef, Yaakov died and he was left with Yisrael. 
וזה הדבר היה לאחר שתיקו ולאווה סעצר, דהיינו כשלוח אז בן יומן, you know when it happened? When בן יומן was taken, ואומר להם יעקב, אוי סי שיקלתם! יוי זמן אל בשמיני נמס בן יומן תיקחו, you cause me to become bereft! ויאמר להם יעקב, יעקב says I'm not יעקב anymore, my יעקב soul flew away. אז פרחים אל הנפש יעקב. ומי אוסי פעם לא יזכירו בשם יעקב, רק בשם ישראל, אמייזינגלי, after Yosef was told, sold, he was never called Yaakov again. In the whole Parshas Vayigash. Vayoymer Aleim Yaakov Aviyam, in Parshas Miketz, from this point in on. Until they said to him, Vayagidu Lo Aleimar, Oy Yosef Chai! Oh, Vatachi Ruach Yaakov Aviyam! From the end of Miketz, the beginning of Vayigash, there ain't no mention of Yaakov. Yaakov is dead. He's just Yisrael. Dehainu kishalokh lo es ben yom ayom elam Yaakov v'yom oisi shikaltim yoisi v'enem v'shem enem es v'yom dikoch oz parach menon nefes Yaakov. Umei oisei pam lo yizkiru b'shem Yaakov rak b'shem Yisrael. Ki Yaakov hayom es. Yaakov was dead. עד בדסוירוס יוסף סיבת חי רוח יעקב של רוח של יעקב חזו ויחי. Now even though the שלוש says they're not so fast, there is a mention of the name Yaakov before. אף אגב דל אל מיני קודם עד חי רוח יעקב, even though earlier or before it says ועד חי רוח יעקב, it says ויבואו ארץ כנען על יעקב אביהם ויגידו לו אלוהים אמר אוי יוסף חי, they came to כנען to יעקב. The answer is, Me'achar Shabo'oiso Izman Chozar Vayechi Kro Yaakov Since that time is when his life returned, he started to be called Yaakov. Why? Certainly, as soon as Yosef revealed himself to his brothers, and there was joy among them, so the vitality began to bubble in Yaakov. So, Nimtza Chilak Yaakov Ha'itchiyas Hamesim Ah, oh, says the Holy Shla, watch this. That means the soul of Yaakov, so to speak, it died, it came back. And it had Tchias HaMesim. Ve'enoi bedin she'yam asoid. You can only die once. You know why Yaakov avinu lo'y meis? Because he died already and he came back. So that's all. You can only die once. V'nishar z'achelek chay nitzchi. And this chilek of him remains eternally alive. Ki chazer la'achar t'chil yus b'nefesh chay nitzchi. Ki nefesh chay nitzchi. Yaakov Vinu came back like somebody comes back after t'chil samitzim. V'chayus ha'gufani ha'yum itzah nefesh Yisrael. His physical life, in other words, when Yaakov came back, he came, as Yaakov, he came back as like a soul. Benefesh Chaynitzchi. His physical life, though, was operating through the mechanism of Yisrael. This component died, like it says. But Yaakov remained alive. Mechupaf Hanefesh Belavush Shalai. The soul being cloaked, uh, hovering, in other words, his physical self operated as Yisrael, but Yaakov remained alive, hovering, uh, the, the soul hovering over the body, like the Ramban says at the end of Vayechi. And the Sefer Tziyuni also speaks about this, the Chazal Sayyag bin Olay Meis, the Fib Shutai, the Tsura was Neslabesh, Kain Gufa Adam Kadma before the Chait, and he was sort of floating in the world. Okay. Now the uh, Tsiuni says something very interesting. One second. The the uh, Tsiuni the Shla ends up with something very interesting from the Tsiuni. When we say Yaakov Avinu, he can don 
and appear in his guf, like Eliyahu Hanavi. That there's an idea that Yaakov Inu's soul hovers over his body, and when Yisrael is Bitsar, Yaakov is in this lavush, and he could be mispalel. Sort of, by the way, who else do we find this by? Rebbe. Rebbe Huda Hanasi, who by the way was a nitzutz of Yaakov Avinu. Uh, nitzutz, uh, Nasi stands for nitzutz shel Yaakov Avinu. Now this idea, basically we're combining the al and we're taking it to the next level. The al says that, what does it mean Yaakov Avinu loy meis? Yaakov Avinu loy meis means that... Yisrael is a higher madrega, and the madrega of Yisrael is what departed, but the lower level of Yaakov remains with him forever. However, we didn't explain why. The Shla offers a reason why. Because since the madrega of Yaakov died when he heard about the report of Yosef, and he was revivified, so you could only die once, and once he came back, he can't die again. Now this is elaborated further by none other than the uh, Rebbe Yehu Baal Shem of Varmaiza, that we were zoichet to be at his kever in Worms about a year and a half ago, Rebbe Yehu Baal Shem, he says, when we say Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis, we know that Shinoi Hashem Goyremes Neshama Chadasha, changing the name causes a new soul. When Hashem called Yaakov Yisrael, he was given an added soul. When Yosef was sold, the original soul of Yaakov left and it experienced tsar of separating from this world, which is the tsar of death. And when it was reported that Yosef was king in Egypt and that the Chirurach Yaakov Aviyam, so the Nisham of Yaakov returned and when Yaakov died, it says at the end of Ayichi, Yisrael. Because Yaakov already died once. You can't die twice. But the, so the soul of Yaakov is Adayin Kayemes, and it's Mishaiti Tais Ba'ilam, and it, it hovers over us, and it, it, it coats us and covers us like a mother that's Machat on her little child. This is what Chazal mean in Tainus, Yaakov Avinu Loimes, that just like Klal Yisrael is alive, Yaakov Avinu's soul is <coughs> hovering over Klal Yisrael. So Marv Rabbi the upshot is a, a nice avart of the Shvilei Pinchas, who says, based on this Rabbi Yol Baal Shem, we could explain as follows. Basically what we're learning is, the, the Nesham of Yaakov Avinu was nostalgic when Yosef was sold. That was like a Misa for the Nesham of Yaakov. And he's left with only the neshama of Israel. And then when he hears the wonderful report, Sha'od Yosef Chai, the neshama of Yaakov returns at Chiruach Yaakov Iyam. So Yaakov Avinu's soul experiences Chiyas Havesim. Vayechi Yaakov Yerasim He lived in Egypt 17 years on the Madrig of Chiyas Havesim and therefore Vayikrivu Yimei Yisrael Amos. Don't make a mistake that at the end of these 17 years, this existence ceased. No, only Yisrael ceased. But the Neshama of Yaakov Avinu, that lived 17 years in Mitzrayim, because his Neshama of Yaakov came back, that remains forever on the magic of Yaakov Avinu. So the Pasuk, Vayechi Yaakov, that in Mitzrayim he lived 17 years. But... After those 17 years in Mitzrayim, he continued to live forever and ever because Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis. In other words, the point being, Vayichi Yaakov Yeretz Mitzrayim Shema Yaakov lived in Egypt 17 years, but Yaakov remained alive. Yaakov Lo Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis. Yaakov on the Madrega of our father, when he bore us, <coughs> to that he was Loi Meis. The Madrega of Yisrael, that is what was Meis. Okay, Rabbi Isai, that is our sh- share today. And uh, we know, we've mentioned several times that yeah. um, I was Rabbi Akiva, somebody was the Gilgo of Yaakov. Remember? Mm. We've had a few cases like that. There are different different instances only, then. Only one, only one. We said it was Shimon, and then somebody said maybe Yaakov. 
So look. What's the Gilgal? Is that the neshama of Yaakov that didn't die? That's a separate so uh, What part of Yaakov is Neskalgal? Depends who he was Neskalgan. Rabbi Akiva is associated with Yaakov Avinu. Rebbe is associated with Yaakov Avinu. Marv Rabbi wishing everyone a great day. Have a good day. Kol Tov, everyone. Shalom Aleichem. Aleichem Shalom, how are you? Thanks, everyone. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.